and the and the the physicality of it. I guess that's something I, I keep coming back to, and it's probably what's most jarring for people about the idea of an exorcism is that some person is levitating and some person is spitting something out and some things are happening on people's bodies. Mm-hmm. And I, I, it's almost as if people can totally get that there is a spiritual thing mm-hmm. and they can totally get that there's a physical thing. But it's very hard to believe that they intersect or interact with one another. Okay, but I mean they do. I, I don't know what to say to that. Facts don't care about your feelings, I guess. You know, yeah. It's like, again, the non-believer is a whole separate category because, but if you're a Christian, yeah. so you're a Baptist, do you believe the Bible? A third of Jesus' time is spent driving out demons. That's no small amount of time. So like, if you, and this is the word of God, so either you believe it or you don't. You can't pick and choose, right? Yeah. So yeah, I believe that. So suddenly the demons all went away when he went to heaven? Have you looked around lately? Does it look like there's no influence of evil? So, Antonin Scalia did an interview in New York Magazine, probably about 10 years, 